What's up guys, Mountains Gone Wild, Caleb Anderson here, and I'm just doing another little check-in video. Um, I got something to get to, to show you, to waterproof tent, and make sure that we don't get rained on. The forecast is now looking like we're going to have some passing or scattered showers, thunderstorms, and uh, you know, with our schedules, we really can't reschedule our weekend that we've been planning for months now, so... Uh, I'm just going to be as prepared as possible and hopefully we don't get soaked. So uh, first, you know, I ran to Walmart to grab some uh, waterproofing to spray on the tent and I'm going to show you how we do that, how we get the tent completely waterproof and well, take that back. There's no guarantee with water. You, you might get a little wet, but we're going to do the best we can. Um, first though, I had to go and get some new mountain house. I was scared. I don't know if you saw in my last video about... Um, what I'm bringing on, we're doing the Presidential Traverse, it's actually this weekend, we're leaving Friday, and then doing most of the Traverse, we're camping Friday night, and doing most of the Traverse on Saturday, uh, so this Mountain House uh, Chili Mac with beef, two and a half servings, 12 grams of protein, this should be pretty good for me for the night, uh, this is going to be my dinner, I had some beef stew Mountain House from 2013, and it was just sketching me out, I didn't... You know, I know freeze-dried food is good for a long time, but 2013, five years ago, nah. So I went and got some of this. It's only eight bucks, freeze-dried, and plenty of, even if, you know, I haven't tasted Mountain House in a while, um, and I've been hearing nothing but good things that, that, that it, with the taste. Back in the day, it was like, eh, questionable taste, but it was food, freeze-dried, really light-carrying uh, good food to bring, just add water. So I'm sure now over the past five years or so, they've really worked on their flavoring and things like that. So uh, I'm excited to try this Chili Mac and um, hopefully it does the trick. Uh, to go with it, I grabbed this camp cup, five bucks for this thing. And um, this is what I, I was looking for these for a while. It's got the handles on it that fold in on the sides. And it's only five bucks. It's, it'll be great to fill up water for that, fill up water for coffee in the morning, and uh, get it boiled. And then, you know, even if we need some extra water, we got to get it boiled um, due to the bacteria that could be in the water, and we don't want to get sick. So, five bucks will get you a good boiling camp cup. And then on to what we really needed was the Scotch Guard. This stuff is supposedly a one coat application, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the tent right there with the with the rain guard. You can see inside. And uh the rain the rain cover not being tight is what's making it look really loose right now. This is the the front flap to cover that down there, but 
this is the tent. And now we're going to take the focus Scotch Guard uh, Ultimate Protection Against the Elements One Coat Application. And let's see how long this takes to. Eight inches away. It just says allow article to dry completely. It doesn't say how long it takes to dry. So I'm going to open up the garage door just a little bit so we can air it out and then I'm going to spray the heck out of this thing. And I really want to, really want to get all the seams. That's pretty much it. I kind of want to stay a little bit further away because I don't want it to run. Making sure to get all the seams and then do a nice big coat all the way across the top. And I kind of want to get this thing glistening. You can really start to smell it now. It's definitely got that chemical-y smell to it. Hoping once it dries that goes away. We'll see. So want everything to glisten a little bit, almost like a paint, just like a paint actually. Go around and make sure you double up on all your seams. And I'm just going to continue to do this. I might do a couple coats. That's about it, folks. That's how you do it. Get this cover completely covered. And you can see, shining and glistening like that, that's what you want. Because when that stuff dries, it's going to be like a layer of protection. So that's about it. Really quick little video just to uh, show you what I'm doing to prepare for a little bit of inclement weather. And hopefully, this keeps us dry. Me dry. We'll see. See you next time. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Mountains underscore gone underscore wild. And uh, let me know what you think. See you next time.